Hey guys, it's Dom, and I want to thank you for choosing Texas Pride and congratulate you on the purchase of our popular four-car hauler. At Texas Pride, we know we're living in unpredictable times, and there's occasions when our customers can't pick up their trailers themselves. So they either have it delivered or have someone pick it up for them, which means missing out on the final stage of the delivery process, the operational maintenance walk around, which is usually done by one of our customer service reps. So today, this walk around is just for you. We're gonna go ahead and start at the front and work our way around, starting with our two and five sixteenths adjustable coupler and two safety chains. If you purchase our optional 8K Warren winch, then it's going to be mounted right here at the front of the trailer. The winch will come with a power cord that plugs in right here. We also include a charge plug that helps maintain the battery life on the winch and the hydraulic system. And it plugs in right there. Underneath the gooseneck is where you're going to find your safety breakaway switch. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is, you'll untie the plug, and then you'll take the carabiner, and you're gonna plug that to the inside of the bed of the truck. That way, if the trailer gets away from you, this pin will pop out, locking the brakes on the trailer. I wanna add one more thing about the safety breakaway switch with regards to the breakaway battery box. As soon as the pin is pulled, it starts using up battery, and it continues to use battery until the pin is pushed back in. So once your situation is under control, you need to push that pin back in, because as I said, it's going to continue to use battery. And there's some people who will park their trailers at night, unhook their trailer, and then purposely pull this pin out just for theft prevention, not realizing that their battery is gonna to continue to drain throughout the night. Next morning they get up, they hook their trailer up, they plug the pin back in thinking their safety breakaway switch is working properly when it's not because it's been drained throughout the night. So never ever pull the pin out just for theft prevention and always check the charge on your battery. It'll help keep you safe on the highway and those around you. Inside the frame of the trailer, you'll find your sealed wiring harness that leads to the seven-way electrical plug that plugs into the back of your truck. When you purchase the Warner winch, you're gonna receive a 12-volt deep cycle marine battery along with a battery charger. On the side of the battery storage box, you have a 110 power outlet that you can plug into at home so you can charge the battery overnight. If you purchase the optional spare tire, then it's gonna be mounted right here on the right-hand side of the trailer. The trailer is also wrapped with plenty of DOT reflective tape so you'll never have a problem being seen on the highway at night. Also starting on the right, you have your lifetime LED lights that you have on each side of the trailer. I'm going to show you where some of your grease points are on the trailer. You're going to have one right here, one right here, right here, and underneath here. On your double acting hydraulic system, you're also going to have a grease point right here right here and right here. On all your grease points, you're always going to want to check them every other load. The standard size tire on your four car hauler is going to be 16 ply. That's going to have 110 pounds of air pressure inside of them along with 110 pounds on torque in the lugs. Now this trailer is upgraded to the 18 ply tires and it has 110 pounds of air pressure inside of them along with 130 pounds on torque in the lugs. And they're all running on triple AK axles that have all wheel electric brakes on each axle. You can remove this rubber grommet with the flathead screwdriver so you can grease the bearings. That's something you're going to want to do every two to 3,000 miles. The standard ramps with your trailer are going to be 9-foot aluminum ramps that sit right here at the rear of the trailer. And all you're going to do is pop this pin out, pop this other pin out, and then pick up the ramps and slide them out. All your features like your grease points, your DOT reflective tape along with your LED lights are gonna be exactly the same on this side of the trailer that they are on the other side of the trailer. So let's go ahead and talk about the floors. The standard flooring on your trailer is gonna be expanded metal runners with open centers or you can upgrade to the heavy mesh ridge expanded metal like this trailer has on it. Throughout the mesh flooring, you have different areas that you can tie down your vehicles from. But one cool feature that sits right above the tires is going to be this strip of metal that doesn't have the mesh flooring on it, but still allows you to tie down your vehicles. The reason why we have this is to keep the tires from kicking up any rocks, any debris that could cause cosmetic damage to your vehicle. 
Also on the left hand side you have your jack handle which is used to raise and lower your dual 12,000 pound drop leg jacks. And what you're going to do is lift that out. Now to raise it, you're going to go clockwise. To lower it, you're going to go counterclockwise. And then you take the jack handle and put it right back there. You can also add these flip outs that allow you to have some extra space in between your vehicles. And all you're going to do is flip them over and lay them down at the front of the trailer. Your trailer comes standard with an underbody lockable toolbox, so let's take a look inside. Inside the toolbox you have a 12 volt deep cycle marine battery along with your hydraulic pump that takes 32 weight hydraulic fluid. You also have a 5 amp charger. On the side of the toolbox you have a 110 outlet that you can plug into at home so you can charge the battery overnight. You can also purchase an additional underbody lockable toolbox. And inside this toolbox is where you'll have your straps and your ratchets. Also inside the toolbox you have a 15 foot power cord that you use to power up and down your 3 by 30 dual acting hydraulic system which it also comes with a remote, which is used for the same thing. All you do is hit that, and then... You're also going to have a safety pin near each cylinder and what you're going to do with this, slide it out, slide it right through that hole, hook it in. That way you don't have all the weight resting on the hydraulic system. You can also use the remote control on the winch. And then when you want to take it back, once again, I'm Dom, and I hope this brief walk around helped you to get to know your trailer a little bit better. But if you still have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or visit us at TexasPrideTrailers.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the road.